name is Shazana Binti Yusuf. My name is Jason S. Pong Sibun. And, and we are going, are going to present our Innovo Group Limited. Let's watch it. For the introduction of the company, Innovo Group Limited was first established in year 1984 at Beijing, China by Li Chuanzi and then of more hit. Ten more of his colleagues that major in computer science and was named as Legend Computer Company Limited. The company was renamed as Lenovo Group Limited in 2003 and the company has around 10,000 employees. Lenovo Group Limited has the specialty in producing laptop, computers, tablets, desktop computer and mobile, mobile phone. The company is also known as one of the largest personal technology companies. For the vision of the company, Lenovo Group Limited intend to create personal devices more that people are, ins are inspired to have, a culture more people aspire to join and endure, a trusted business that is well respected around the world. For the mission of the company, Lenovo Group will become one of the world's great, great personal technology company that will accomplish through personal computer, convergence and culture. The major strength of Innovo, the centered vertical integration in, is an important role in product development by analysis the cost versus the benefit of in-house manufacturing and make at least 50% manufacturing Innovo in-house. Therefore, it has enforcing culture values which present another internal strength for the company performance. For the major weaknesses of Innovo, Innovo is main gain income is from selling hardware product, prices will increase in the Feature due to rising raw material and this will add cost for Lenovo and will cut the profit margin in the long term. Poor brand reception in large emerging countries due to it, its economic development decrease the company market efficiency. The major opportunity of Lenovo is has been dissipating into the mobile device sector the tap demand of smartphones and tablets in China, which is the world's biggest market for mobile phones and PCs. The brand of Lenovo is currently the fourth biggest market tablet seller by the increasement of market share and the quality of the product itself. It is another great opportunity at the growth of Lenovo to expand the company globally. The major threats that Lenovo has is Lenovo are exposed at the main threats that the company will face. One of its rivals is at the market waiting for the time and take advantage at the very moment to Lenovo seize the market share and customer loyalty so that they can take Lenovo customers' loyalty. This is because there are huge customer loyalty in Lenovo market penetration. The company will even experience some competitiveness among its rival firms due to the challenge from their company itself. SWOT analysis there is four, which is SO, WOST, and WT strategies. For SO strategies, build a new production plants for phones and tablets in Wuhan, China, and devote more money to the group relationship with a large multinational company to supply their employee with smartphones. For, for WO strategy, invest some of their profit from their PC sales into a new generation of device invention and spend around 50 million to invent and provide products with affordable price for customers in the new market. For ST strategies, spend more money, especially advertising in China, to provide the info of the advantage of the novel smartphones and invest some of their profit from their PC sales into new generation of device invention. For WT strategies, increase the vertically integrated strategy to include batteries display and invest 80% of all profit generated from PC sales into the tablets, smartphones, and next generation devices. Today, I would like to present the strategic position and action evolution space metrics. For the Lenovo Group Limited, the internal analysis of the financial position average is 4.2 and the competitive position average is negative 3.2. And the external analysis of position average is negative 4.0 and the industry position average is 5.2 And the x-axis is 2, y-axis is 0.2 in the space metric 
In conclusion, Lenovo is located in the aggressive of the space matrix and suggesting the firm needs to continue expansion into Latin America and also continue its vertical integration strategy and continue shifting the resource to smartphone. Thank you. Present the qualitative strategic planning matrix, which is QSPM of the Novo Limited Group. In QSPM, we will talk about the opportunity, threat, strength, and weaknesses on building a new production plan in China for tablet and phones. Or the second one is form an alliance with Verizon and AT&T in the US eh, to carry Lenovo phones. As you can see, this is the score for opportunity, threat, and strength and weaknesses. And the total score shows that the building a new production plan in China for tablets and phones has the highest score. However, both strategies should be implemented despite building a new production plan in China for tablets has the highest score then securing relationship with the Vertizon and AT&T in the USA. Our recommendation, first, Lenovo should consider to establish a new production plant or factory for tablets and phone. Second, establish a partnership with telecommunication companies such as Verizon to make a smartphone. Third, devote 200 million to build relationship with large multinational companies around the world to supply their employees with smartphone. Fourth, spend some of money to reconstruct by product and hire a CEO. Five, spend 50 million to develop and offer cheap product for customer in emerging market. Six, spend 150 million in advertising in China to market the advantage of Lenovo smartphone over their rival XT Corps. And the last is diverse all software operations similar to what Microsoft is offering for free. For the executive summary, Lenovo Group Limited is a successful company since the establishment until today. Based on the external assessment, EFM metrics show that the company protects some competition from the rivals that come out in innovative products and technology in smartphone globally. CPI results show that Lenovo Group Limited ranked the lowest out of its two main competitors, but the company performed better on certain factors such as market share, gadget diversification, Top management and prime competitiveness. For the internal assessment, financial statements and historical ratios show that the company in a non favorable position in handling its current obligations. IFE metrics show that vertical integrations, sales, promotion, and profit of the company are increasing. All in all, it is still difficult to predict the future because of uncertainty and unpredictable things in the financial market.